Hello, Ridgefield Library. My name is Elsa, and I heard it's almost bedtime where you are, so I'm here to read you a bedtime story. I'm so excited to get to know you. Guess what? It's kind of like magic. I can see everything you write as comments on this group, and I can see your names and everything. So, whenever there's something you want to share, type your name and your comment or your question. We're going to be good friends, so you can ask me anything. Please tell me what your name is. You know mine, and I bet you know the names of lots of my friends. Do you know the name of my sister? Mm -hmm. Anna is my sister. And do you know the name of Let's see. Oh, this friend has a carrot nose. Do you know the name of that friend? You can type it in the comments if you know, or just say it out loud. Eloise, hi. I'm so glad you're here. Violet and Daisy, it is so nice to have you here tonight. This is so wonderful. Nora, I'm happy to see you too. Hi, Mary. Hi, Bella. Are you excited to read a story time together tonight? This is going to be so wonderful. Bedtime stories are something that my family always did when I was little. Well, even after I froze my sister's heart and had to stay in my room by myself for a long time, we still did bedtime stories. My mother and my father would come in and do a bedtime story just for me in my room. With my gloves on, of course. But look, no gloves. You can trust me. Oh, and Linda, you got it right. Oh, that was Bella. Make sure you put your name before every comment. That way I know exactly who you are. It's so fun to know your names. And Bella, you got it right. I was talking about Olaf. Let's see if you know somebody else that I do. He really likes ice almost as much as I do. And... Oh, here's another good clue for him. He only likes to tinkle in the woods. <laughs> He's also very sweet to Anna and is going to be a new member of my family very soon. Do you know who I'm talking about now? <laughs> I'll let you type your comments to guess. Meanwhile, I am going to read you a bedtime story. We're going to read a story called sparkle magic because I have magic inside me. I think each of us has our own special thing that makes us different from everyone else in the whole wide world. Bella, you're right. It was Kristoff. Yes, and Mary, you got it too. I am so glad she found somebody that was nice for more than half a day. That's really important, isn't it? That's why I didn't give Prince Hans and her my blessing to get married. If you're going to do something big like that, you should know them for long enough to know that they'll always be nice and to know that their love isn't fragile. I think Kristoff is wonderful and he never gives up on Anna, which is exactly what she should have because she never gives up on me. Violet and Daisy, I'm proud of you. I know you knew it was Kristoff too. Good job. What does the magic that I have do? I am one of the spirits. I'm no longer the queen of Arendelle because I found my place in the world. Um, and I think you should be exactly who you are too. Now, I am one of the spirits and do you know which spirit I am? What can my powers make? Tell me in the comments if you know and I will tell you that when I found out that I was a spirit, I was in Atahalan. It was a place very far away that I had to travel to and I had to have some help from some of the other spirits to get there. But when I finally got there, there was a very special surprise waiting for me there. Hi, Ava. Do you know what that surprise was? Or who that surprise was, I should say? Oh, Nora, yes. My powers are ice powers and I am the ice spirit. I am meant to take care of the world 
where ice is concerned. You know, all of the beautiful patterns that you might get on your window at winter time? That's for me to do for you. You know, the ice you can go skating on? That's for me to do as well. Violet and Daisy, you're right. I have ice powers. Ava, I feel like we're together again right now. I think it's wonderful that we're here reading a bedtime story together. Bella, no wonder you know so much about me. You saw Frozen too, So maybe you know that the surprise that I found in Atahalan started with a voice. I'm going to sing as that voice and I want you to sing back to me. Ready? Ah, your turn. Very good. That voice sounded like it was coming from the enchanted forest. I was the only one in Arendelle who could hear it. I'm not sure why that is. Do you think maybe that voice was speaking to me through my ice powers? That's what I think, but I'm not sure. When I heard the voice, I wasn't sure if I wanted to follow it or not. Let's take a vote. If you would have followed that voice, I want you to do a heart reaction on this video. And if you would have stayed at home, I want you to do a thumbs up reaction on this video. Let's see if more of us would go to follow the voice or more of us would stay home. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. There were reasons to do both, right? There's a thousand reasons I should go about my day and ignore your whispers, which I wish would go away. Oh, whoa, you're not a voice. You're just a ringing in my ear. And if I heard you, which I don't, I'm spoken for, I fear. Everyone I've ever loved is here within these walls. I'm sorry, secret siren, but I'm blocking out your calls. I've had my adventure. I don't need something new. I'm afraid of what I'm risking if I follow you. Sing with me, because you know where. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. I decided that I was gonna follow it. There were a million reasons that I shouldn't, but you know, the more I thought about it, you know, I was hearing that voice for a long time, like you, Ava, and I had so many people that I loved in Arendelle, like I love you, Alexis, but I just, I don't know. I felt like I needed to go. I felt like maybe there was somebody out there who's a little bit like me, who knows deep down I'm not where I'm meant to be. Well, I did decide to follow it. And you know what? Anna even came with me. And so did Olaf and Kristoff. And here's one more friend that you haven't guessed yet. He has four legs and antlers too. And he likes to eat carrots even if they're in Olaf's face. Who do you think it might be? Mm. Oh, Alexis, thank you. That's very sweet of you. I do love to sing. When I sing, I feel free. Let's start our story while you try to think of who that might be. Oh, Alexis, you got it. It was done. Perfect. I knew you would know. When I was a little girl, I loved to use my sparkly snow magic to have fun with my sister, Anna. I made a snowman. Can you find my snowman? Yeah, there he is. Oh, good job. Mary and Ava, Violet and Daisy. I'm so impressed. You all knew it was fun. Nice job. I built snow mounds to slide on with magic that swirled and twirled. Once though, this is a sad page. Are you ready? Okay, be strong. Anna got hurt. 
I became afraid of my magical powers and I hid them away for many years. But you know what? When I hid my powers, that meant hiding my whole self because I just didn't want to be me. I thought I should be different from what I am. Conceal, don't feel, put on a show, make one wrong move and everyone will know. So I wore gloves and I stayed locked up in my room and I really just didn't want to come out. Well, I wanted to play. Every time Anna asked me to play, I wanted to say yes, but even more than that, I wanted to keep her safe, right? She was important to me and I thought the only way to keep her safe was to stay away. But guess what? I've learned that that's not the only way to keep her safe. Do you know what I can do? I can learn how to use my powers better by practicing and by being calm. And then I can have powers and be myself and play with Anna. So now, every time she knocks on my door, you know what she asks, right? Will you sing it with me? Do you want to build a snowman? Come on, let's go and play. I never see you anymore. Come out the door. It's like you've gone away. We used to be best buddies. Now we're not. I wish you would tell me why. Do you want to build a snowman? It doesn't have to be a snowman. Alexis, you're so good. Yes, that's what she always asked me. And I used to have to say, go away, Anna. But I realized that it's okay to be me. I just needed more practice. What are you proud of that you have practiced? I always ask my friends this because I think it is so important and it's a beautiful part of who you are. If there's something you're not good at, it's just something that will be your specialty when you practice. Just like my ice powers. You saw me. I really wasn't good at my ice powers. But I practiced them and now I'm really good at them. And now I can use them to help people. Ava, yes, I do want to build a snowman. Hi, Sean. Mary, I'm proud of you for practicing your letters. And you know what? That will help you read books like this. I love it that you're practicing your letters. I did a lot of that in my room on my own. I did so much reading. And did you know, if you like reading, the Ridgefield Library, they actually have all kinds of fun things you can do right from your home. In fact, they have lobby pickup too. So you can go get books and they will help you. Plus, you can read this summer just for fun. And when you log it into the library summer reading program, you're gonna get prizes just for reading. They will give you ice cream and gift certificates to the toy store for reading with your library. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, I was so excited to hear about that. So I'm doing it. I'm reading with the Ridgefield Library, and I hope you do too. Okay, I need you guys all to know that Violet practices dancing. I love it. Guys, if you're proud of what you've practiced and you wanna share it with everybody, you can post videos or pictures of yourself doing the thing you're so proud of on this group. And it's a private group, so we'll just enjoy it on the group as our little group of story time friends. And I will respond to every single one of you because you're important to me. Alexis, you're practicing writing and reading too? That makes me happy. I love both of those things. They're good ways of remembering wonderful stories. If I didn't write down my adventures with Anna, we wouldn't have remembered all the details of what happened. And then they would never have been able to make that cartoon about us. Aren't you glad they did? Grown-ups, aren't you glad too? Ava, you're practicing your reading? I love that. And guess what? I am too. I'm so excited to share the next bit with you and get past the sad part. Oh, yes. That's Bella, right? Olaf did get a flurry from me. But also, he has permafrost. Do you know what that is? Permafrost? Yeah. It's like this strong, I don't even know what to call it. Maybe you can help me come up with a name. 
The permafrost is almost like a strong skin all around the outside, almost like an armor. Maybe we should call it armor, but it's this special snow that I worked really hard on creating so he can even go swimming without melting. It's amazing and he loves it. With Anna's help, I learned how to control my powers and use them for good. I told you that, right? You already knew that about me. And now I get to make friends with anybody I want because I'm not gonna freeze people by accident. Like you, I get to make friends with you. Thank you for trusting me and can we be friends? If we can be friends, do a heart reaction on this video. Let's see how many of us can become friends through our bedtime story tonight. Now, do you know where we are in this picture? Mm-hmm. We are in my ice palace. My ice palace. Sean, your toy egg is awesome. I love that egg. Thanks for sharing it with me. And you're getting so big. Now you're two years old? Wow, I love that. When Anna was two, she would always come and wake me up in the morning and she would say, Elsa, the sky's awake, so I'm awake, so we have to play. And I would try to go back to sleep because I really like sleeping in the morning, but then she would convince me that it's more fun to play. So I would get up and we'd play together. Bella, I'm glad you have a little friend with you too. Pequini, am I saying that right? That's a very unique name. I have a little friend. He's up in the attic here in the castle right now, but guess what? He has a really silly name. It's Sir Jorgen the Organ. He's a little stuffed penguin and he kept me company in my room by myself. Alexis, you wake your grown-ups up just like Anna woke me up, don't you? <laughs> I think that's beautiful. Now, oh, this book is a little outdated. It says, now I am the queen of Arendelle. Well, that's not true anymore. Tell me in the comments if you know who is the queen of Arendelle now. Because now I'm the spirit and I can't do both jobs at once. It's important if you're going to do a job to focus and do it right. Now there are so many wonderful things I like to do with my sparkly snow magic. I help old friends and new ones. This was the flurry you were talking about, right? You remember that, huh? Olaf got his flurry and he also got his permafrost, right Bella? Oh, Ava, yes, you knew it. Oh, both of you knew that it was Anna. She is a wonderful queen. She likes to play games with the people of Arendelle and it's so fun. She makes sure she takes care of them all very well. You know she has lots of practice taking care of someone because she took care of me for a very long time. She never gave up on me. Ava, you are getting so big. You are five years old? Wow. Now, don't hit the device that you're watching with, but can you give me five? Let's all give each other five, because Ava's five. Ready? One, two, three. Give me five. Nice job. I love being friends with you. Violet, you knew Anna was the queen, huh? And Daisy, you got it right. Anna is a wonderful queen. I mean, look how happy she is. She was born to be a queen, I think. Oh, Anna and I have snowball fights in the summer and dress up in silly snow costumes. Yeah, this does happen every once in a while. Whose idea do you think this was? Look at both of our faces and try to guess whose idea it was. Can you point to the person who you think gave me that mask? Yeah, it was Anna's idea. Anna's very, very silly, and I love that about her. Anna and I are very different, but do you think you can love someone who's different from you? You sure can. In fact, here's a secret. Everyone you know is different from you. Nobody's exactly the same on this whole world. Not even twins. They might look the same on the outside, but they're sure different on the inside. And Anna and I are different too. But I love that she's different. She teaches me things 
and shows me things and has me try things that I would never think of doing on my own. And I do the same for her. Mary, it's almost your birthday and that's so exciting. I hope it's an amazing day and I hope you know that everybody in Arendelle will be thinking of you on your birthday. Alexis, you knew that Anna was silly, right? Yep, and that was a really good guess, Marie. It was Anna. Nice job. Oh, Aw, Daisy, you're silly and messy. That sounds like Anna to a T. And that's why Violet loves you. I think that's beautiful. The best way to be friends with somebody is to love them just as they are. That's what I realized that I should do is just love myself the way I the way I am. Do you think I should keep my ice powers or get rid of them? Yeah, I think I should keep them too. I wanted to get rid of them for a long time. But then, when I first built my ice castle, I thought, maybe these are actually good. It's time to see what I can do to test the limits and break through. No right, no wrong, no rules for me. I'm free. You know what comes next, right? Sing with me. Let it go, let it go, and I'll rise like the break of dawn. Let it go, let it go, and that perfect girl is gone. Here I stand in the light of day. Let the storm rage on. The cold never bothered me anyway. Ah, <laughs> oh, Mary, thank you for saying I should keep my powers. I will. Alexis, I'm so glad that you want me to keep my powers. I like them, especially because I've learned to use them to help people. Did you guys see that I helped save all of Arendelle? First, I froze it. <laughs> and then later, remember when Anna broke that big stone wall? Yes. And it sent a huge wave that was going to crash and cover Arendelle and destroy it. I used my ice powers to save my people. I, I'm so glad that I learned how to control my powers. I think you can learn to do anything too if you practice. Alexis, I'm so impressed with your singing. It sounds beautiful and you know so many words. We sisters throw wonderful parties at the palace. Anna prepares tasty treats while I create perfect ice sculptures. What do you think is Anna's favorite treat of all? It's not what's on her plate, but it smells really good, especially at a party when you've had the gates closed forever. <laughs> Bella, you are right. Anna did almost die. A couple of times, actually. Sometimes dangerous things happen, right? And sometimes we make mistakes that might hurt someone we love. What can you do if you make a mistake? What do you think? Mm -hmm. The first thing is to say sorry. And then the next and most important thing is to try to learn to do better so that you can protect them next time. Bella, you know how important Anna is, don't you? It was so important to me to learn how to protect Anna, and I did that. Alexis, that's a good guess. Anna does love donuts, but that's not her very favorite treat. Ava, ooh, sweet bread is actually one of my favorites. But Mary, you're right, and Linda, <laughs> it's chocolate. And Violet and Daisy, you're right. <laughs> she did want to shove chocolate in her face. She told me about that and I thought it was hilarious. And I don't blame her because it's delicious. And if it doesn't go in your face, then where does it belong? Bella, you are right. Fixing it is the most important part of making things right when you make a mistake. I'm so proud of you that you know that. Now, we have so much fun together now because I fixed my mistakes. I've learned to control my powers. And now look, we get to do things like this. I love strolling through the kingdom and playing with my friends. 
I'm not locked up in my room anymore and I'm proud of who I am. You are the one you've been waiting for all of your life. Oh, show yourself. Ah, ah, ah. I take them sledding and ice skating. Anna is getting much better at ice skating. She is really good at practicing things she isn't good at till she gets good at them. I'm proud of her for that. Every day together is so much fun. That's true. And every day with you is so much fun too. I think it's wonderful to be your friend. Guess what? When I was little and it was bedtime, my mother would sing to me. And after we were done reading our bedtime story, she would gather me up onto the bed and she would hold me and she would say, cuddle close, scoochin'. So if it's almost bedtime and you have somebody you love with you, or maybe you have a stuffy with you, or maybe it's just you and me, Cuddle close and scooch in, and I'm going to sing you a lullaby before you go to sleep. Mary, I love ice skating too. Uh, oh, Ava, Anna doesn't have white hair anymore. She got some white hair because that's a side effect of being frozen, something that happens when your heart is frozen. And it's a good thing too because we wouldn't have realized what was going on. Well, Kristoff wouldn't have realized. I shouldn't take credit for that. But are you ready for our bedtime lullaby? If you know the lullaby, grown-ups or little ones, you can sing with me, okay, friends? Alexis is cuddling. Aw, are you cuddling with your Elsa and Olaf Snuggies for bed? Every time you do, I hope you feel like I'm giving you a hug. Here we go. Where the north wind meets the sea there's a river full of memories sleep my darling safe and sound for in this river all is found in her waters pure and true lie the answers and a path for you dive down deep into her sound but not too far or you'll be drowned i hope that whenever it's bedtime for you maybe it's not bedtime for you right now bella but maybe it will be soon and whenever bedtime does come i hope that you go to bed knowing that you are perfect exactly the way you are. Just like I learned I shouldn't get rid of my ice powers and I should just be the best Elsa I can be every day instead of trying to be someone else who didn't have ice powers. I want you to remember that you shouldn't change anything about who you are. I love you exactly as you are and every day you can practice, like we talked about, to be a better you every day. The world will never see anyone else who's just like you. So it's very important for you to be exactly you. I'm so glad to be your friends. And guess what? If you stay around for a minute after our story time is done and watch this group, there will be a post announcing one of you that I will call so we can visit just you and me before bedtime. I love you and I love that you sang with me, Ava. I love that you sang with me, Mary. And Violet and Daisy, good night to you. You are welcome for the bedtime story and I'm glad that we are friends. Goodbye.